Korean fried chicken. The best fried chicken ever. I said it, come at me. Guys, I'm gonna say this right now. Korean fried chicken is the best chicken ever. So in this video, we're going over the price point, how many calories is it, and if it's worth fitting into your diet. So you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Lewis Hoffa Show. You know how we do. Back at it again with another cultural video. And guys, I'll be honest with you, I've been waiting to do this video for a long time. But all these fast food places, they had all these promos and stuff, so I wanna do those first. But now, let's finally try Korean fried chicken, my favorite. So enough talking, let's open this up. All right, so I got Korean fried chicken. This is what it looks like. I got the half and half. So half of it is spicy Korean fried chicken and the other half is soy garlic. Oh man. And I got the meal, so it came with rice and these pickled carrots, or no, uh, pickled daikon. I think it was called, right? Oh yeah, and it comes with a side salad. So it's just basically lettuce with some Korean sauce. I don't know what it's called, but I also got a side of sweet potato fries because hey, you can't have wings without fries, am I right? But before we get started, this is a fitness challenge, so we have to go over my four rules. The first rule is I follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies, and 20% of my calories come from foods just like this. My second rule is we don't skip our train, we don't skip our workout, we don't skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the morning and get out of the way, but you can go anytime you like, as long as it fits you and your schedule. And the third rule is we eat our mains calories or below. So when you eat your mains calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat above your mains calories, you gain weight. And if you're below it, you lose weight. But hey, what if you don't know your man's calories? Well, my friend, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringthestress.com slash tools. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Just type in info and you'll be good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel, unless it's vodka. All right, guys, like I said, I got the half and half. So I got the eight piece. So four of them is spicy and the other four is soy garlic. So usually I have the calories listed out, but because this is a mom and pop shop that I went to near my house, I'm just gonna guesstimate the calories. Is that cool with you guys? But if you are strict on your diet and you're being extra careful, I highly recommend you try to not eat this kind of foods until you're more at your goal weight. Does that make sense? Enough talking, let's open this up. So like I said, it comes with rice. I love white rice and uh, this pickled, I think it's called pickled daikon. I don't know the calories for this though. Oh, and you can't have Korean food without kimchi. I'm not sure if they charge extra or not. I didn't really ask, but I do have some from Costco. This is the Costco brand, or not the Costco brand, but I bought this at Costco. I'm almost running out, but hey, this is good. It's not only long calories, but also has probiotics for, you know, gut health. Because after all, this is a finish channel, right? So I'm gonna pour some of it on the rice. I should've got a plate. Bam, oh, look at that. Ooh, baby. Guys, my mouth is watering. And again, guys, this is the Wings. Korean fried chicken. The best fried chicken ever. I said it, come at me. <laughs> all right, let's start off with, I mean, they all kind of look the same, I don't even know. But yeah, I'm gonna list the calories for each one. So whichever one I pick first, I think this is the sort of garlic. Check this out, guys. Ooh, yeah. Let's do this. Korean fried chicken, my favorite. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. So good. Mmm. Like I said, guys, I've been waiting for this. Get a little bit of scoop of rice with some of that kimchi. I like to mix and match, you know what I mean? Mmm. Get all the flavor in your mouth, you know? Yeah, guys, this is bomb.com. I don't know what it is about Korean food. It's just top tier, man. Maybe it's the marinade. I don't know. But from like Korean barbecue to Korean fried chicken, something about those Koreans, they know something that we don't. But I highly pick this over any fried chicken. I don't know if you want to compare it to like fast food fried chicken, like KFC, Popeyes, right? Because that's considered fast food fried chicken. But Korean fried chicken is on a league of its own. So I think this one is a soy garlic. I'm pretty sure. So that means this must be the spicy fried chicken. Let's do this, guys. Mm. Yeah, so the soy garlic, it's a little bit sweeter, right? And the spicy, obviously, it's more spicy. Mm. Oh yeah, guys, let's have some of this sweet potato fries. 
Mm. Like I said, guys, you can't go wrong with wings and fries. Sweet potato fries. Mm. Get some more of that rice. Mm. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> oh yeah, and the total for all of this was 26 something. And I tipped because it's mom and pop. So the total was around $30. Let's get some of this pickle daikon. Mmm. I love the sweetness from the daikon. I just feel like everything just complements each other, you know what I'm saying? Let's get some of this salad. So it kind of looks like Thousand Island with like cabbage, but uh, let's find out. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it tastes like. Thousand Island on cabbage. Yeah, it's not a bad thing though, I'll tell you that. Rule number four, we don't trigger calories on this channel. So today I have a nice Coke Zero Sugar. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. Not sponsored. Oh, you can't go wrong with Coke Zero and Korean fried chicken. Am I right? But somebody asked me the other day, I think it was a friend. He was like, you always have to say not sponsored. And I was like, I don't think so, but it's a joke, right? I don't know if you guys get that, but uh, yeah, not sponsored. Let's get some more of this chicken. This one's a spicy. Mm. But yeah, guys, I was talking to my other friends and they're saying like, same thing. There's a difference between fast food fried chicken and Korean fried chicken. So what would you want to compare Korean fried chicken to? You know what I mean? Like what other ethnicities out there have fried chicken that you want to compare it to that's not fast food? I guess like soul food has fried chicken. But then would you do like, you guys know like Roscoe's chicken and waffles? They have fried chicken and waffles. So would you compare that fried chicken to Korean fried chicken, you know what I mean? So I think it's up for debate, but to me, fast food or not, fried chicken is fried chicken. Mm. Let me know down below, what's your favorite fried chicken? Have you ever tried Korean fried chicken yet? Let's get some more of this Costco kimchi on the white rice. Something about this mix, the kimchi and the white rice, it just tastes really good together. Oh, it was funny because me and my Mexican friend when we went to get Korean barbecue, he asked the server if he could get soy sauce on his white rice. And I started laughing because like, soy sauce is more like a Chinese thing, right? Soy sauce on white rice. And don't get me wrong, it's delicious, but it's not Korean. Mm. Let's get another one of these sour garlic fried chickens. Mm. Compliment with some sweet potato fries. And if you guys know me, I do have zero sugar ketchup, but uh, I don't have anywhere to put it, so uh, this is just good without it. It'll be even better with zero sugar ketchup. Mm. Now that I think about it, would you compare this to Wingstop's fried chicken? I mean, Wingstop's not fast food, right? And they have a bunch of different flavors. And actually, they do have a Korean flavor too. I think a Korean barbecue flavor or a Korean fried chicken flavor. One of those two. But it's also kind of hard to compare like a mom and pop shop to like a chain restaurant, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what would be good, guys? Some of this kimchi white rice with the pickle daikon. Mm. Mm. I know some people out there, they like to eat things separately, like wings, finish that, and then their sides, finish that, and then the sides. But for me, I like to mix and match, right? Get a lot of flavor into your mouth. You know what I mean? All right, let's get another one of these spicy fried chicken. This one's a big one, look at this one. Super excited for this. Mmm. Mix and match, mix and match. Mm. Mm. Guys, I'm in heaven right now. I wish you guys could join me, man. But here, here's a sweet potato fry. <laughs> so guys, if you're new to the channel, I always end it off with the question of the day. It helps you guys get to know me better. And if you leave a comment below, it helps me get to know you guys better as well. So today's question is, how much time do you spend on the internet? What do you usually do? How much time do I spend on the internet? I mean, a lot, right? I think it depends. So I disable my personal social media accounts. So I'm not really active on those. However, I do have a business one. This one, bring the shreds. Follow me on Instagram. But usually on Instagram, I'm on there at the gym, like in between sets, you know what I mean? In the mornings or on Twitter. I'll be honest, guys, I love Twitter. Not just because Elon Musk bought it and made it about free speech, all that good stuff. But it's where I go to follow my favorite athletes, sports updates, any trades, anything like that. Whereas I felt like Facebook, where it used to be, like people sharing their stuff. Now people are just posting random things that have nothing to do with anything. And I don't know, man, it's not stuff I really care about. So I'm not active on Facebook. But usually when I'm home, I'm usually on YouTube. I'll be honest, guys, I love YouTube. You guys watching, you guys probably love YouTube too. So I watch a lot. 
lot of like fitness stuff still, how to grow YouTube channels, a lot of self-development, self-improvement videos, because I do want to be the best version of myself. And yeah, that's basically it to be honest with you guys. Cat stuff. I mean like, cause I have two cats I take care of. Something's always going on that it's like, oh my God, do I need to buy something for them or something like that? Oh yeah, and also on Amazon. You guys, I haven't been to a store like a Target or a, I've been to a grocery store, but I haven't been to like a Target or like a Walmart in like forever. It's been a while. Cause every time I go there, I spend like $300 on random stuff. So at least with Amazon, I buy what I need. And a lot of times what I want. <laughs> with that being said, let's have some more of this. Korean fried chicken, my favorite. Like I said guys, hands down the best. Mm. Mm. And the place I go to, they hook you up. Look at all these fries. This is definitely gonna be lasting me tomorrow, maybe the next day. I'm not gonna eat all of it at once. Cause you know, health and fitness, get some more of this rice and kimchi. Some of this pickled dark corn. And that's it guys. If you guys made it this far, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna finish up the rest of this. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Brain Shreds. We're all about moderation, not deprivation. Because hey, life is too short for brown rice, chicken breast, and broccoli all day. Am I right? Don't forget to bring the shreds and I will talk to you soon. Peace. Mm.